Hello Lillas, welcome back to my channel guys. I'm gonna make this really quick. Um, just wanted to pop in. I am just sharing baby Elliot. This is who I've been working on for one of my customers. Um, and I am rooting him. And so he doesn't have his eyelashes yet, but he'll get there. Um, so I just wanted to see what he would look like to his mommy, some pictures of him on his body so I just wanted to yeah I wanted to to show him so I said well I might as well make a little video and show him up on on camera this I don't know if he's showing up look like he might be showing up with a little too much red but it's okay i think then it might be right sometimes i i worry about the wrong thing but anyway um this little guy is he's got most of his back of his hair done but he still got a lot to go um in the front in the middle section so Hopefully I can get him finished and you see his hair is like really long. Um, I have not cut it. I don't plan on cutting it until I finish his whole head. Then I will cut it to whatever desired length. I just want to root it all so that I can see how the curl pattern works. And, you know, and then of course if his mommy wants his hair to have some length to it, um, she can. Um, because I know her a little bit more, a little bit more about her. I know that the babies in her family has tons of hair, even as newborn. So I don't know. So I'm gonna let her, you know, let me know if she wants me to cut it short or not or shorter. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm sure she probably won't want it this long. But you, you know, you guys know what I'm saying. So he's also on a Reggie Ann's body. As you guys know, I love my Reggie Ann's bodies. <laughs> so he's on a Reggie Ann's body. He's on the newborn size, which is a really good size. Um, and so I haven't like really weighted him, weighted him. Um, like um, adjusted his, his body just all the way. I have put in his diaper a little bit of cotton in the back of his diaper to make his his little bottom push out let me see i, I hadn't looked at it <laughs> it might look like he need his diaper changed actually now but i was doing that more so to to give him like a you know a baby or more of a baby push you could do that for you know like photos put a little cotton in the little butt. Um, I don't typically do it when I'm, you know, like doing like a prototype or something like that. Cause I like people to kind of see what they're getting. And if I do, I would definitely disclose it. But um, another thing that give them that little push in their uh, bum bum area is with the cuddle babies that I found, um, giving them a cloth diaper. See his hair in the back is quite, he got, he got quite a bit of hair back there. So, um, but yeah, also I found giving them, putting them on a cloth diaper works really good too. So let me see if you guys can see, so you guys can see. So like, <laughs> yeah, see his little, his little bum bum. It, it makes it poof push out so cute i love it um i don't know you know uh, i'm always the always the one like cheerleading and promoting cuddles because i was so against them at first so now it's like now that i'm in love with them i'm like you guys are missing out you guys have no idea these are like the best thing ever um but yeah so look at this so sweet listen 
all right so that's it i just wanted to pop in show you guys that um he was what i'm working on um and after this i will be rooting my i'll be rooting the bubbles kit next um different color hair and i will have some new faces up in here i know you guys are used to me doing a lot of the same sculptors work but i like i said i got some other sculptors work in progress for painting and then um as you guys seen i, I showed you guys one of my full bodies um i have some other potential things in the pipeline that will be coming up um that's you know different from a little bit different than what you guys have seen me do in the past so i am definitely um trying to do some things and come out of that same you know comfort zone like you i i feel like i need to be willing to explore other other things other babies other facial expressions other you know sculpts um sculptors and all that jazz so i'm excited so anyway i just i eat eat what i eat i eat i eat i eat i eat um look at that little curl i don't want to cut it <laughs> i don't want to cut it i don't want to cut it um anyway so like I said, let me get back to rooting. I gotta strip him all back down, take his head back off, wasted a zip tie. I need to order me some more zip ties because I'm totally just wasting zip ties for no good reason. Just be because I was curious to see what he would look like on his body. But that's what we do. And sometimes, especially mommies, they've been waiting a while. Um, this particular customer is uh, definitely in no no rush at all and not even worried about me I have to remind her about the baby so that's a good thing um, so I'm able to really I was able to paint him however I wanted to which he is different from a lot of my other babies as well um, his coloring his color placement like there's so much difference his skin tone I've never done this skin tone um, I've done similar. I think he kind of, uh, mm, he's giving me a little bit of Jaden. I don't know about you guys, but he kind of reminded me a little bit of Jaden color, but different. Um, so there are some things, some things that I've been doing to my babies a little bit here and there that's making difference for me, for me personally and my personal taste. But, you know, I don't know, never know, you know, what people are going to like. Some people, you know, like you know maybe one style of painting that i do and not the other vice versa so you just never know um and that's why I like i feel like we're always like so nervous like artists when we're sending out our work or when we're um you know when we're painting for someone it just you feel like you're on edge all the time because you're not sure if they're gonna like really embrace what you do and and sometimes you have a vision in mind but that vision don't necessarily come the way you want it to come because I mean you can be using the same exact colors the same techniques um, from the same pora but the paint just seems to take on differently or it comes across I don't know it just it you just never know, in my opinion. I mean, there are some artists out here that are amazing at just knowing exactly to get what they want. Um, I can never do portraits. That's probably another thing I can't do custom because if they like, I want a skin tone like so-and-so, baby, that you did. And I'm just like, oh, I don't know exactly how to get there. I'll try, but I don't really remember. So it's fun. I think that's the best part about painting is like, very fun fun for me um i i have to be honest and i'm gonna confess this in a way i hope you guys like him um uh izzy ja 
have a, a jowl. I think it's jowl. Jowl, 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 something. I don't know. She actually um, closed the Elliot edition so recently. So just in time, just in time. It's so funny how things work out. This is working out really well. So all I got to do, all he have to do is pass the test in person. <laughs> So anyway, that is my story and I'm sticking to it guys. I hope you guys um I hope you guys like him so far. And I don't know, I'm trying to think. Like I think yeah. So he should be able to get a good enough pacifier. <sighs> Cause you know, some of these babies don't come with the mouth open. We have to we be having to work it out. Anyway, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.